happy holidays and welcome to CTX coverage of the annual Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic Girls Hockey Tournament. Today, a quarterfinal round matchup between the Bloomington Jefferson Jaguars and the Osseo Park Center Stars. John Jacobson along with Dan Ficken. Jay Wilcox will be along with us as well here at New Hope. And Dan, always be fun to be back for this tournament that started in 1996. We've had at least one day of that tournament on every year with the exception of 2020 during the pandemic here when there was no tournament. Always fun to be back with this group and Armstrong Cooper, a great job hosting it. Uh, I'm really glad that they're doing it, and it's been a great tournament. My daughter played in this tournament by God, and we love coming out here to play. It was always a top-notch tournament, and uh, we get a chance to see where hockey is mid-season here in this area. Our teams that play in this first game, pretty young, Dan, and Jefferson coming in at 4-8 and eight on the season, and Osseo Park Center at 5-6-3, and three, but they graduated a lot. So good young talent, but... The emphasis on, on young, right? They're still kind of learning their way midway point in for what a lot of them is their first varsity season. Well, a lot of times it works that if you, you don't know, it's okay. You okay. just kind of figure it out real quick and do your own thing. But yet, this is time to get experience. And, and you want a young team that's got some skills because maybe this year isn't that good, but you're building for the next two or three years with what you got. And I think both these teams are doing that right now. These teams did play in this tournament last year in the semifinals with Jefferson winning. They went on and lost in the championship game to defending tournament champion Fergus Falls, and they met in 2021 in the quarterfinals. So they have seen each other in the past. Let's roll into our key players now, starting with Jefferson. Jana Lash is one of their seniors, and she's their leading scorer so far this season. Scored a hat trick against the Stars a year ago. Yeah, tremendous player. Got some really good speed, but holy buckets, can she shoot? She's, she's just got a knack for it, and you can't teach that. I mean, they, they know how to score, and they get it done. And with her eight goals, and she's leading the Jaguars around. She's got the most shots on goal, too, of any team, any person on either of these teams. And for OPC, Grace Armstrong, who uh, leads the Stars so far in scoring and scored the only goal against Jefferson last season. Well, they're back. Maybe yes. we're going to get a, a, another <laughs> rebound look at the same thing, but maybe a little bit different. I don't know. I think OPC is a little more motivated this year. And, uh, they're looking pretty sharp. Depends on the goaltending right now. And if that steps up, it's going to be a good game for them. And with young teams, especially Osseo Park Center, they have so many freshmen and, and uh, sophomores that are playing to have a senior like uh, Grace Armstrong to be able to kind of lead the way is, is certainly helpful. Well, definitely. You always depend on your leadership, and that's your seniors. They've been through the wars. They know what's up above. They probably played this team, too. So she can lead, and all she's got to do is put it out there. They'll follow her. It's the first game of the tournament here on the North Rink at New Hope Ice Arena. Armstrong Cooper will play in our later game tonight on CCX. Jefferson and Osseo Park Center live on CCX from the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic after this. historic New Hope Ice Arena built in 1975. It's the opening game of the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic for 2023. John Jacobson, Dan Ficken, Jay Wilcox with you as we get ready for the Jefferson Jaguars and the OPC Stars. As look at our starting goalies. Chloe Golden is in the pipe between the pipes for the Jaguars tonight. She is rotated with Sarah Rash in goal for uh, Wilmington Jefferson and Allie Olson who's played almost all the minutes, all but one game, and has really done a nice job. First-year varsity starter for OPC. We'll talk about that as the night goes on. Is in the net tonight for Osseo Park Center. We are underway. OPC in the black, orange, gray, and green, and they get the first possession into the Jefferson zone at their offside. Well, kind of a weak drop in there by the Bull PC. She just couldn't quite get past that last back check and kind of muffled the dump play. So slowed it, and they got an offside. Mm -hmm. 
Stars get it back at their blue line, play it ahead to the Jefferson line. Neither of these teams has played in a week. A loose puck right out in front, almost. Oh, it does get in the net. Have to flank it in. And Osseo Park Center gets on the board in the game's first minute, 40 seconds in, to be exact. And it's Bella Lindquist, the freshman, who puts it in the net and gets OPC on the board. Well, the Stars did a good thing there, John. They got it down deep, and then they put it out in front. Jaguars defenseman kind of misflubbed it a little bit, got into her skates, slipped out, and they banged it home. We'll see the puck come out here, gets caught up in the skates there. One little nudge, and bang. Coming in and got the goal off the puck just sitting there. Grace Armstrong will get the assist. So Lundquist with her, Lindquist rather, her fifth goal of the season, seventh point. Armstrong with their fourth assist is 1-0. Here they come again. Gabby Edlund carrying in deep and puts a shot in on net on Chloe Golden. Rush back the other way for the Jaguars. Puck picked off at the blue line. Briefly lost, but then picked up again by Edlund behind her net. Rink-wide pass. And... Matty Smook trying to catch up with it for Osseo Park Center. They keep it in the Jaguar zone. Edlin down into the left corner. Tag team there in the corner as Jefferson tries to take the puck away. Looking to push it up the wing. It's high up again. And then freed up and then a turnover. Back behind the net. Osseo Park Center able to keep it in, but then they give it back. That's taken by Avery Kapsner, playing it back behind her net around the boards. Left point, shot toward the goal. Didn't get all the way through, got picked off and cleared out of the zone by the Jaguars. Poked off the stick there of Kapsner. She looked to come in on the left wing. And back comes Jefferson, or our OPC rather. Armstrong with the oh. shot, hit the inside of the pipe. Puck still loose and finally covered by Golden. Boy, that was close to Ooh. being in the net. I want to see a replay. On that shot by Armstrong, that was awfully close to going in and making it 2-0. Well, she only had two holes to shoot at, John, either the in outside corner or the inside corner. Yeah. That was inside the pipe. I don't... I, I don't know yeah, that it got the net, though. Yeah, no, I cut, cut the pipe solid, so yep. it was close, but not, uh, not in. Darn, I was hoping for a replay. <laughs> you got the replay. Osseo Park Center controlling action here in the opening two and a half minutes of the first period against Jefferson. And they've got a power play as well here. An early penalty on Jefferson. Loose puck is a chance for the Jaguars. Jana Lesh, dangerous, a shot in the goal, and she scores shorthanded. And we're tied at one. Their leading scorer, we talked about it in the pregame, stops that one for her ninth goal of the season. And it's 1 1. Oh, well, that's what your leading scorer is supposed to do. John Alas, as John said, we talked about it before the game started, and she's the one that's leading them in, gets this game tied up after an early OPC goal. And just found a nice little hole there. I think the defenseman's stick kind of deflected a bit. They got it up a little above the glove. Again, the power play still in effect here for OPC. Shot on net, save made by Golden. Back up, shot from the slot, gets blocked. Off the stick of Reese Ruska. And Jefferson able to golf it down into the Osseo Park Center end. Lauren Rainerson will chase it down. Junior defenseman back up to center ice onto the stick of Grace Armstrong. And on the left side, shot oh, away, hits pipe. the pipe. She has had two pipes here in the last two minutes of play. Well, I don't know if 
And Chloe cleared Golden away got here it. and iced by Jefferson. I don't know if Chloe Golden got that jinx on the, on the gold medal there, but it's certainly become a friend. Masio Park Center gains control again. Here's Edlund. Stop, tried to play it back out to the blue line, got past Anderson. They've got a reset. Now they're bringing it in offside. With 13 seconds left in the power play for Osseo Park Center, now a 1 1 game. Like Kuhn on the faceoff with Gabby Edlund, won by Jefferson. And cleared out of the zone by Piper Hartman. Brought back in on the blue line. Here's Edlin walking in. Backhand shot and Golden slides across and makes a beautiful save. Boy, I wasn't Excuse sure. Me, that was uh, Macy Patton on the rush. Boy, I tell you, I was surprised Golden got that pad down. She just got it down. Nice move here, but she got it flat quick. Made a really nice save in a tough situation there. There's Patton, number eight. Edlin's number nine. She'll take the face off here. Jefferson back at full strength, but what a number of good chances. Two pipes, Dan, and then oh. Patton robbed there on a really good save by Chloe Golden. And we stay at 1 1. Shot from just inside the blue line. Now it's back behind the net, pushed to the corner. Around it goes, moved up the boards, and kept in by Osseo Park Center again. Shot Ooh. away, and that one flutters just wide of the net off the stick of Maddie Smuck. Well, it's interesting to note, John, that, that uh, the Stars are shooting for the glove side of Golden there in the net. They probably found a weak spot there, maybe they're trying to take advantage of. Cleared and banked off the boards by Kuhn and down. For icing, we'll bring it back down to the Jefferson end again. 6 1 shots on goal so far in favor of OPC. Well, OPC took took charge on their, their power play. Uh, they had a couple gaps, but you know, kept it in the zone, moved it around, got some shots, hit a couple pipes. Jefferson takes control after the faceoff. Shot down into the OPC zone by Ostlin, and then taking control and playing it back ahead was Lindquist, and couldn't get it to Armstrong. Icing on OPC. Get a chance now to see the face off in the offensive zone, see it comes through. That usually some coaches will put a regular winner of face off down in their own defensive zone to take them just to win it. So. See how it happens here. Jefferson won. Fates off win for Jefferson. Shot from the blue line by Kendall Thor Thorman gets blocked. Back behind the OPC net, trying to gain control there was Oslin along with her teammate Elmquist. Pushing it back out toward Thorman, gets past her. Now a chance for OPC, Armstrong. Got it, goes back behind the net, Lindquist back to Armstrong. And she gave it away on a pass, and Jefferson comes back out with Kendall Elmquist. Lost it at center ice. Reese Ruska fires one in, and then Osseo Park Center goes off for a line change. Played six and a half minutes in the first period. North break here, first day of the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. 1 1 Osseo Park Center in Bloomington Jefferson. Shot going wide off the stick of Gabby Edlin. To the corner, played up the wing and out of the zone. Back comes Jefferson now. Here's Lashard. He has a goal on the big save made there by Olson. Lash tested her again. On to the stick of Becca Brendelin. All the way back to Car Kranz and her blue line. Up to center ice and deflected back where Krenz will skate it down. Pass intercepted. Patton's pass across. Looking for a deflection, didn't go. 
Jefferson takes it back. They move it ahead to Lesh. One player back into the OPC zone. Nice pass and for a return pass to Lesh. And a goal. What a beautiful play. Kylie Jones and Jana Lesh. And it's 2-1 Jefferson. How about Kylie Jones and that return pass? She didn't even hesitate. She's in closer and she saw that the goalie was really committing to her. She got it over to the leading score. What a nice and selfish play. Watch this pass now. Right there. Beautiful. Didn't even hesitate. I like those players who wear 13, John. By gosh, they're smart. Nice goal. That was a terrific pass. Thing Lush likes playing against Osseo Park Center. Oh, I think so. Yeah, she <laughs> three turned. goals last year. The only three that your team scored, and she has two tonight in the first seven and a half minutes. Uh, the so the first pass, too, from Lesh. The yeah. Jones was nice enough, and then the extra pass was just perfect by Jones. Yeah, uh, they just, that was a nice piece of teamwork there. Well, Lesh has got six assists so far, and uh, well, it's moving even though she got the goal there, but she, she can move the puck okay. Face-off win for Jefferson is shot by Kuhn. He gets blocked. Tie up to the left of Olsen and picked up now by Osseo Park Center. That was a nice reverse by the Osseo Park Center defense there. It got it out of the zone. And that's now they got to maintain some pressure here. Lindquist shot oh. gets blocked, comes out of the zone. Shot back in from neutral ice, but Jefferson has it. Nice poke away there. And Jefferson's got to reset back at their blue line with Spencer. Banked out to center ice on to Rainerson stick. Picked back up by Spencer. Played ahead now, pushing in on the left side is Kapsner. Lost the puck. Back comes Osseo Park Center. That pass gets blocked at the blue line by uh, Flanders. Shot back in by the Jaguars into the star zone. Backhand pass. Broken up by Jefferson, then taken back by the Stars. Pass to an open wing. Nobody there for Osseo Park Center, but it's going to come right into the crease, so no icing. And then a takeaway by Osseo Park Center into the high slot. Shot away, fired wide of the net. Picked up back behind the goal by Flanders. Pushing it up to Elmquist. Out to center ice. Over skating it there was Ostlin, but picked up by Elmquist. Lost it. Stars play it back out to center on to Flanders stick. And shot into the OPC zone by Kempsner. Cleared out by the Stars, but nobody there for OPC in the neutral zone to play it. Lawrence brings it in left side. Drops it back off. A Hartman and a glove save. Our first shot made by Ali Olson. That was a nice save by Ellie Olsen, John. She was screening there. The Jaguar player came in and got a deflection on it, but she maintained her position, got spread out real good, made a save. But all but one game, as we mentioned right before the opening faceoff, and it's really taking control of that net for Osseo Park Center, which they needed. They had no varsity minutes returning yeah. in goal this season. Well, hopefully that takes a decision out of the coach's mind. That's a big one. You got to get settled in your goalies quickly here. And this is about the end of the season where you got to make a decision. Just over seven minutes to play in the first period. Jefferson leading now two to one. After giving up an early goal in the first minute to Osseo Park Center. Now OPC coming back. Three on two. Armstrong nice stick handling. Passes off a backhand shot in front. Golden makes the save. Back out to the blue line and a blast. And that gets blocked in front. And cleared away to the boards by Brendelin. That was a good rush by Osseo Park Center, but unable to put it away. Here comes Brendelin. She'll fire a shot off a defenseman. Steered away then by Olsen. Puck is loose. Centering attempt in front. They bang at it. It's cleared back to the corner. And behind the net it goes again. Jefferson with control. Lost it. Here's a chance for... Osseo Park said we're going to whistle back behind the play and a penalty coming up. And it's going to be on Osseo Park Center. Yeah, check on the boards. 
Lauren oh, Brainerson. Hooking. hooking. It's called for a hook. Well, as we said before the game started, neither one of these teams have been especially strong on their specialty plays, like the power play and the penalty kill. We'll see who can break through here. Time of the penalty, 10:44. First power play tonight for Jefferson. Already leading it two to one here, which is over six minutes to play in the first period. Lesh has both goals for the Jaguars. They set up right side. And a push it in from the circle and does come on net. Olsen covers up. Now you see they're trying to set up and Allegra Kuhn here, number 36. She seems to be the one coming out of the corner. Likes to come out of the corner from behind the net. Kuhn just a freshman, one of three freshmen on the varsity roster for Jefferson. Meanwhile, OPC's. Dresses five freshmen, Dan, and one eighth grader. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Ola. Ola. Shot here. It's deflected to the corner. Jefferson still in control. Oh, the minute 25 left in their power play. Right circle. Shot. Olsen save. Rebound was left out there, but Stars pick it up and drill it down the ice. Oh, four checking down deep. Evelyn got a piece of it. Shot away. By Patton gets blocked. Now Jefferson moves it out to center. They lost it. They got to chase it back down in their own end. Out of 45 seconds left in their power play as Krenz moves up the ice with it. Lesh ran into a player. Friends got it into the zone briefly and then poked back out by the Stars. Here's Lesh. Strong skater up through center ice. In on the left side. Moves to the corner now. Stops. 25 seconds left in the power play for the Jaguars. Now gives the pass off. Pass right in front, then fired wide of the net by Brendelin. Back it comes to Lesh. Gives it back up, pass across, gets broken up this time and out of the zone. Krenz was able to thread one pass through, but the second time she tried that, Stars broke it up. Osseo Park Center back in full strength there. So we wind down to four minutes to play in the first period. I see the Jaguars are keeping Lash out there quite a bit now. She has not made a line change in about a minute and a half, two minutes. Play down on the Jaguars zone as Osseo Park Center tries to set something up, but can't get any shots toward the net at all. Norman picks it up for Jefferson. Skates it up through center, got turned around, but able to release the puck. And shot into the zone there by Lawrence. She'll go off for a change. Centering pass in front just under the stick there of Elmquist, who was primed to put it away. Olsen making a save there on the shot from Hartman. Hartman keeps it in the zone at the blue line. The corner, Ostlin. Now it's Laura Kapsner after it. Kapsner feeding it back off. Hartman back to Kapsner. The flex a couple of times in the circle. Briefly kept in by Jefferson. They bring it back into the zone and shoot it down to the corner. Those first few minutes of this game, it was all Osseo Park Center, but Jefferson's done a great job not just on the scoreboard, but with puck possession since that time, Dan. Definitely their forechecking is becoming very effective now. Um, Osseo might be getting a little tired. They usually only play two lines, so that uh, fatigue might be... A, a factor here in the closing minutes of each of these periods. Pass a little bit behind Elmquist, or she could have caught that in yeah. stride and been off the other way. Osseo Park Center shooting it back in to the Jefferson zone. High up behind the net, finally cleared by Lindquist. Got the goal tonight for Osseo Park Center. Feeds it back behind the net. We're fighting forward is Ruska. Cleared around 
boards. Kept in again by OPC. Shot gets blocked. Another try. This one gets through, and Golden is there for the save. Well, the Stars are putting it on, John. Their defense are hanging loose, tightening on that blue line. They're not backing out real quick. You can see there. And uh, gets the first shot blocked and then runs over and gets it again and lets a shot loose. But right now, they got a step on the Jaguars. Play at center ice. Osseo Park Center playing it back to the Jefferson zone. Taken there by Flanders. From the blue line, puck kept in. Oh, it's all alone in front. Oh, and fanning on the shot was Edlund. He was in clean on Golden and couldn't release the shot. She just lost structure on her front foot and took her off balance. She couldn't get it through. Jefferson's offside here. Like giveaway and we'll get it again. Put on a pass and then Edlin then able to score. Patton able to try to set her up. It's tough when you get your back leg set to shoot because most of the strength comes off that back leg. And uh, just kind of wobbled on her a bit. Shot down into the Jefferson zone now. OPC center. Jefferson able to play it and it gets out of the zone. Lindquist tried to bring it back in as we're under a minute to go in the period. Here comes Lash for Jefferson. Backhand shot and Olsen the save. And then the collision, the boards back behind the net. Both players okay. We'll have a face off in the OPC zone with 51 seconds to play. Boy, what a nice move in here coming in tight. And gets a great shot trying for that inside corner there, that upper corner, John, over the shoulder. And couldn't, couldn't quite get it up high enough. Shot from the blue line, a lot of traffic there. Olsen hits a stick on it and pushes it away. Banked out of the zone. Armstrong trying to chase it down. No icing here. Armstrong gets it, putting it back in onto a stick, so it's kept in the zone. By OPC, but then Jefferson gets it back. They bank it out to the blue line, but again, kept in the zone by Patton of OPC. Under 20 seconds to play in the period. Stars trying to get another shot, but now they give up the puck. Jefferson able to take it back. They'll get perhaps one more rush of their own shot, but wider than that off of Lawrence's stick. Centering the pass says the period. Comes to an end. Well, goal for Osseo Park Center by Bella Lindquist, 40 seconds in. And as we mentioned, good play from Osseo Park Center early, but better play, certainly the second half of the period, yes. by Jenna Lesh and the Jaguars, and they have a 2 1 lead. Yeah, had to get their legs underneath them a little bit. These holiday tournaments will do that to you. You have all that food and Christmas presents, and it takes a few minutes to get your legs under you, but that's righted itself out here in the first period. But Osseo's hanging in there. I'm sure Coach Lewis is happy with this. Now they get a rest. See what they can do in the second period. We'll be back with more hockey. Jay Wilcox has interviews with us in between periods. Our coverage of the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic continues after this.
back to New Hope Ice Arena on the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic Girls Hockey Tournament for 2023. We're after one period of our first game of the evening here and then Bloomington Jefferson leading Osseo Park Center 2-1. to one. Jeremy Lewis, the OPC head coach, joins us. And boy, a really good start for your team there. But how'd you feel overall about that first period? Uh, yeah, we're, we're very happy with the first five, six minutes of the game, right? We're taking it to them, out shooting them 7-1. Then all of a sudden, uh, we're starting to lose blue line battles, right? And we talked about that was big for us, ex exiting our blue line, entering their blue line. And we didn't make some good decisions. and. Uh, uh, got beat, especially by one player. Talk about your season overall this year. How do you feel like the way things have gone with this pretty young group that you have? Yeah, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're happy where we're at, right? We know we're, we're a young, inexperienced team, and, you know, we're just taking a game, game by game, and, you know, we're just happy where the girls, they come and work every single day, every single game, all right? So we can we can complain their effort. For all the teams in a tournament like this, obviously the routine is a little different than, than for most of the year where you're having, you know, practice, practice, and then games. But how do you feel like the girls handle that part of it, you know, being on break but coming to the rink for this tournament? Yeah, it's tough. This tournament, we drive ourselves to games. We're not taking a team bus, so we, they get other sorts real easily. But um, we, we talked about what a fun time of year this is and to be able to play in this awesome holiday tournament that you guys put on, and the girls are excited to be here. Yeah, you've been a part of this for a long time. Is it one that uh, the players kind of look forward to? It's just something a little different throughout the season, too. Yeah, you know, it's it's close to home, especially this game being on being on CCX. Girls are excited, and you know, being close to home, like we talked, just like I just said, um, they just like you know, being sleeping in their own beds versus sleeping in a hotel room over the holidays. Uh, for second and third period, what do you want to see from your team? Uh, definitely watch 24 out there. She, she, she's a game changer, right? We knew that going in. Um, but like I talked about, we're exiting our zone in the blues, owning the blue lines we talked about, entering their blue. Um, our four check's working, but we kind of got a little tired at the second half of that period. Jeremy, thanks so much for joining us. Great to see you again. Happy New Year, and good luck the rest of the way. All right. Thanks, Jay. All right. Jeremy Lewis, the Osseo Park Center coach, his team trailing Jefferson 2-1 to one after one period here. We'll have more of our first intermission coming up and then highlights in our second period on the way here on CCX Sports. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Welcome back here to New Hope Arena. We're in the first intermission of game number one this night of the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. Osseo, trail, Osseo Park Center trailing Jefferson 2-1. to one. And joining us now, Eric Ruska, who is a girls and boys coach in hockey, longtime softball coach at Osseo, now in a new spot a little bit further up I-94, working at uh, St. Cloud Tech. Eric, tell me about your position there and, and uh, how much you like in being the AD. Oh, I love being the AD up at uh, St. Cloud Tech. Um, you know, it's it's a dream. You know, I you know I've thought about this position for a long time. Being at Osseo for 20 plus years, being a coach, um, I always thought it'd be really fun to to kind of be in charge of the facilities and teams and be able to mentor young coaches and, and veteran coaches alike. So it's been it's been it's been a blast. Um, love the community. The community is really super supportive, and it's been really fun. It's good, been a good transition. You get a little bit of the classroom, you get a little bit of the coaching, you get a little bit of everything. So it's been it's been real fun. So, but you know you know. You know, I miss I miss my my colleagues at, at Osseo and I miss my especially my coaching colleagues, but I get a little bit of that now with my daughter here. So, you've had uh, really a wide range of experiences in terms of coaching different sports. Is that going to help now in your spot where you're at? Yeah, you know, I've, I've got a little bit of winter sports. I got you know girls and boys hockey. I got girls basketball. Um, you know, got my spring sports and my fall sports because I was able to coach some tennis too. So it, it helps relate to the coaches a lot. But it, you know, in terms of like that network of, of, of different schools you've got to deal with and different sports and some of those things that come up uh, it really helps help some current job so some similarities with a uh, multi high school district uh, uh, compared to where you went from 279 up to st. cloud uh, overall how do you feel about that district and just the way 
where they're at athletically and just uh, academically too? Well, I would say it's really, really similar. Um, you know, we have a high, high rate of diversity. Uh, we have you know similar um, socioeconomic um, diversity as well. We deal with some of the same issues. So I think being in this district initially uh, helped prepared for me going up to St. Cloud. You know, you get here, you look at the Osseo Park Center Co-op, um, real similar to our, our tech Apollo Co-ops, and so some of the same issues that we dealt with here got to hear and be on the forefront of those dealing with those same issues and, and uh, some of those same things up at St. Cloud. Um, you know, great communities supporting the schools. Um, you know, we just, we, we handle them a little bit differently, but for the most part, it looks real similar. You got to watch a lot of games as a coach and now administrator, but how is it to be a hockey dad watching uh, Reese out here playing tonight for OPC? You know, uh, much different. You know, I, I have to keep my coach brain out of it, uh, my AD brain definitely out of it. Uh, you know, so it's so enjoyable watching your own kid play and, and do what they, they love to do. And so, um, you know, all in all, I, I've really enjoyed the experience of being able to step back, remember what this game is really all about, and watch kids enjoy what they're doing. So. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. We miss you at Osseo, but uh, happy for your spot at St. Cloud Tech. Yeah, thanks. I miss you guys, too. So it's, it's good to be back. All right, Eric Ruska, the athletic director at St. Cloud Tech High School and a former longtime coach at Osseo. We'll continue with more of our first intermission here as Jefferson leads Osseo Park Center 2-1. to one. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Happy holidays from CCX and welcome back to the New Hope Ice Arena. Jefferson leading Osseo Park Center two to one day one of the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. AC Wings will play later tonight on CCX. Let's look at highlights from the opening 17 minutes of play and and figuring it didn't take long for Osseo Park Center to get on the board here. A goal 40 seconds in scored by Bella Lindquist the assist to Grace Armstrong. And then Armstrong twice in about a minute, and a couple of minutes after that hit the height, she had a chance to really put her team up. Instead, Jefferson comes back, and their outstanding senior forward, Jana Lesh, ties it. That's a shorthanded goal that came at 249, and it was one to one. And then Lesh, great passing here, the tic tac toe passing with Kylie Jones. Jones getting the assist on Lesh's second goal. That came at 724. To make it two to one. That was all the scoring, but there were more scoring opportunities certainly in the game. And Golden, after getting up that early goal, made eight saves the rest of the period and kept her team in the lead. Shots on goal, nine seven in favor of Osseo Park Center, and actually had the edge in scoring chances. Each team with one penalty, no power plays. And Jefferson, as you can see, had the one shorthanded goal from from Lash. I think both coaches. We know what they need to do better, and then both could take something positive out of that first period as well. Well, I think Osceola Park Center is happy to be where they're at. Only one goal differential. Disappointment, though, with the mistakes made uh, in that period. And, and just, I think it's being on for a few days and holidays, but um, they, they look a little weak, especially in the, the penalty kill. Or on the power play, they were a little soft and, and let them get one out. Take a break, come back. More hockey from the New Hope Ice Arena, Jefferson, and OPC in a moment. Dan Ficken and Jay Wilcox at New Hope Ice Arena. 
Jenna Lesh and Bloomington Jefferson leading Osseo Park Center 2-1 to one through the first period of play. Second game to follow here on the North Ring, Armstrong Cooper against Princeton at approximately 7-15. Well, it's wonderful to see Jenna Sharp or Jenna Lesh smiling because she's got the two goals for the Jaguars and is looking like the outstanding player right now on the ice. Jefferson wins the opening face off and we're underway in the second period. They'll shoot the puck just into the OPC zone but then taken away by Osseo Park Center. Race Armstrong stops throws it out front but nobody there in an OPC jersey and Jefferson gets it back. They'll play it ahead through the skates of Lash. Must have gotten a stick on it though because no icing. Sends it right out in front of Shadow and Olsen comes up with a huge stop on Becca Brendelin, the first line center. Had a great look at it and Olsen able to make the save. What a terrific pass from Lash right onto the tape and Brendelin. Go right into the midsection of Allie Olsen. Good thing Allie Olsen got there. I tell you, she was quick on there and took it right in the stomach and just buried it, stopped any rebound. Did a good job on that. She was all alone. Well, that would have been a big goal if they would make a three to one. Mm -hmm. Here comes Lesh in again. Pulls it back on her stick and then had it poked away. Jaguars able to keep it in the zone. Riska and Lesh glide back behind the net. Jaguars will sweep it back to the corner. Played out of the zone by OPC and actually icing on the stars. Well, they kept control of it and they did get it out of the zone. Went a little bit too far there for the stars, but it relieves some pressure and allows them to get a line change now, so they got a fresh line out there. Face off win for the Jaguars. Shot away, and Olsen's got to make a save there through traffic off the shot from Allegra Coon. Right off the toe pad. Take away for OPC. They can't get it out of the zone. Another giveaway in deep, and Olsen has to come up with another save. Jefferson buzzing the net early here in the second period. Another shot away, and Olsen the save. Bank to the blue line, but kept in again by Kuhn. Right out in front, and Olsen makes another save. This time on Kylie Jones. Boy, she has been busy in the first minute 46 of the second period. Great start for Jefferson, although nothing to show for it yet. Well, she's been the star so far. She's keeping him in the game. She's always aware and tight, no matter if the puck is turned over. She doesn't get caught by surprise. So she's on her game. Now the rest of the team's got to catch up to her. Spinning puck out in front, Osseo Park Center able to move it out. There comes Patton, stops in the corner. Now has it alone, centering it out in front, trying to get it to Eblin. Patton back on her stick, shot from uh, Ringerson. Ooh. Ooh. Stopped and cleared, and, and then back in. Osseo Park Center's got to tag up, but it's Jefferson with control of the puck in their own zone. Cleared out to center and picked off there. Shot back in and on net. Save made. And Jaguars play it back down to the OPC end. Skated down there by Gabby Edlin. Oops. Turnover at the blue line. Shot to the slot. Picked off by Osseo Park Center. Another giveaway for OPC in the neutral zone. Skated in deep to the corner by Ostlin. Stars get it back. Played up the boards and then controlled in the corner. Flipped out to the blue line where it's kept in the zone by Flanders. Boy, also right now is just a little confricated. They're having trouble getting out of their own zone, making the second pass to get out. Good forecheck by Bloomingham. Chance for the Jaguars again and poked away, shot in front. Olsen's going to make another save. Cleared by Osseo Park Center, and so 
Likely be icing again, and it will. Yep. Yeah, the stars, John, they got they got to start feathering that a little bit so it doesn't quite get down over that far line, man. Let's look at Mark Johnson, third year as head coach at Bloomington Jefferson. Hey, why don't you, you know, see what his team's got here in these next three days. Really likes coming yeah. to this tournament. Yeah, it allows them to get ready and start getting some consistency going here so they know what they got for the second half of the season. In tight again off a of faceoff. And Olsen again has been tested early in this period. And another icing on the Stars. And Jeremy Lewis now in his seventh year as head coach. Really excited not only for this team but for the future. Got a couple of seniors but that's yeah. it. A lot of young players. Not just juniors but a lot of freshmen, ninth graders. Some good young players are still in youth hockey coming up. In the, in the system and really looking forward to what the future years have done have to come and yep. has really done a terrific job I think of coaching not only at the, at the high school level just elevating the program. Well, they're following the, the course most programs take they eventually run out of a good youth group for about three or four years and then it starts building up again and that's what's happening here at Osseo Park Center. From center ice, skated down. Lewis puck picked up by Lindquist. Fires a shot Ooh. away and slips past Golden. Boy, on the backside there. Almost a tip in for yep. Ruska for OPC. Jefferson playing it back into the star zone. And swept in by OPC. Back behind Golden. Ruska will pick it up for the stars. Holding in now comes out takes her spot at the blue line. Oh thank God she still looked. with it shot away pad save there made by Golden. Cleared by the Jaguars but not out. Now flipped up in the air it does come out to center ice. Here comes Lash for Jefferson fires a shot and Olsen the save. Boy, that was a good shot that slipped down almost in between the two pads, but she closed it quick enough to get the good save there. But Lesh has done a great job here. You know what I like about Best John? When she shoots, she hits the net. I, I, right. You know that. That drives me crazy. <laughs> Backhand shot off a faceoff win, and Olsen the save. And we got a little bit of a late hit after the whistle. That might cost. OPC two yep. minutes here. Yep. Look at it again. Backhand shot. Save made and then a couple beats after and then Belmont knocked to the ice and that's going to cost Osseo Park Center two minutes. And Belmont will take a little swipe here right there and uh, as a former D I don't like that. Don't put your stick on my goalie. So we'll see if they can kill this off here and keep it a one goal contest. Charlotte O'Leary goes off for the penalty. Now we'll see what Jefferson can do with their second power play of the night trying to build on a 2 1 lead. Olsen making the save off the blue line shot cleared by Osseo Park Center. Jefferson resets at their blue line pushed ahead left side. Kapsner dropping it back to the blue line. Fan on the pass and that allows the Stars Ooh. chance to get a stick on it. Shot away here, tipped in a goal. Nice deflection in front. Jefferson gets a power play goal and they lead it three to one. Yeah, the defensive or off the park center did a good job. but got over on the boards to try to get it out, but the problem was they didn't get it all the way out. And she got caught staying on the boards rather right in front. Look at how many blue jerseys are open in front of the net. Oh, jeepers, that went off the defense. I think they'll give Belmont credit for the goal. There were 38. The initial shot off the stick of a Kuhn, but I think it'll be Belmont that'll get the goal, and it's three to one. Sometimes the puck drops your way, sometimes it don't. If 
I 59 the time of the power play goal for Jefferson and now a two goal lead for the Jaguars. Osceola Park Center with control of the puck in the Jefferson zone. Shot from the blue line goes wide of the net off of the stick of Rainerson. Jefferson gets it back in their own zone under the stick of Belmont. And shot back in by OPC. The Stars are doing a good job territorially, John. They just get Centering Ariel. pass here. Oh, and shot over oh. the top of the net. Oh. They're getting opportunities. They're just not finding net. Well, that was a really good opportunity there. Ooh. But uh, Edlin shot it high. Jefferson gets it back. Pass up the wing and they skate it out to center ice. Fired in deep from Belmont. Comes off the end boards. OPC able to control the puck. Off they skate to center. Lindquist in on the left side. Lost it. Banked by Jefferson to the blue line. Kept in there by Edlund. Cleared away and it's Jefferson with it out to center and shot back in from center ice. And this time they're on their side of the center ice. Well, get it out. Good look at this shot here. Coming back on the reverse side. Really good, smart play. I just got it over the net. Probably just wanted, should have taken a time a little bit, but that's easy to say when you got a puck in an open net. Thing. That was Patton on the shot, not Evelyn. So again, a couple of uh, chances. They've had some <laughs> really good chances tonight, Dan. I mean, they've had one goal and a couple of pipes. Evelyn, the fan on one. Patton's missed a couple of times yep. in close, or once a save made by Golden the first period. That time just missed the net. And so we stay a 3-1 Jefferson. Shots on goal for the game 15-12 in favor of the Jaguars. They've outshot the Stars in this period 8-3. Well, the goals aren't telling the story of the game, although they are. But, you know, this has been a much tighter game than what the score is indicating right now. Now come the Stars now to center, brought in by Lindquist. Fires a shot, and that oh. one rings off a pipe. Shot from the right boards, gets blocked. Armstrong, or Lindquist had a stick on it again. And has to chase it down, trying to spin away there from Thorman. Puts it back out to the blue line. Armstrong shot, gets stopped in front. Now a little momentum here for the Stars. Lindquist. Drops the pass off. Shot from the blue line. Golden the save. Good coverage by the Jaguar D there. They got that forward out of the way, so uh, the goalie could see it all the way in. Chloe. Uh, Golden. Nice center for the shot. A little lower might have been better for easy for a deflection, but there wasn't a bad shot, a bad setup. My Anderson's that shot on that one of the captains for this team, along with Macy Patton. The pass the win where point up the hockey game. It's a three to one lead for Wilmington Jefferson. Going to advance to the tournament semifinals here at New Hope on Friday. Three day tournament, eight teams. Backhand shot. It gets blocked. We got a delayed penalty coming up here on Jefferson. And we'll get a power play. You saw Edlin coming in on the. Left side getting held a little bit. We'll get to Jefferson going to the box. Well, another opportunity for for the Stars, John. I mean, they've had they've hit pipes. They've been in there. They just haven't hit twine. Maybe this is the time they'll do it. Good try. Trying to get away with that penalty, but uh, well, that stick was definitely in there. Becca Brendelin going off at 9.05. Second power play for Osseo Park Center. They didn't score on their first opportunity, but uh, Jefferson did score a shorthanded goal. And OPC had the early power play in the first period. 
Could really use one here. The Stars down two goals. Under eight minutes to go in the second period. Night full of hockey for you on CCX. Shot here. That gets deflected wide by OPC. Armstrong Cooper against Princeton and friends in our second game at 7.15. Shot away and a good stop by Golden sliding across to make the save. Here comes Lash, short-handed. Already got one shorty tonight. Pushes a shot in. A great save. Puck comes loose and stars control. They let a break back the other way. Three on two. Rainerson comes in right out in front oh. of the net and broke it up by Jefferson. Comes back on to Edlin's stick. Drops it to the corner. Centering pass in front. Jaguars able to deflect that. What a good defensive play. Another well, shot. This one whistled wide on the net. We're down to a minute left in the power play for Osseo Park Center. Edlin walking in and he got stood up. Lost the puck and cleared by the Jaguars down the ice. Well, good clear by the Jaguars. They finally got a press change out there. That group out there was very really tired. Well, PC gains the zone. Puck bobbled a little bit, but Golden able to keep it out of the net. Jefferson getting it out. Lesh. That stood up at the OPC blue line. Stars gain it back. Here comes Ruska. Strong rush up the right side. Sophomore coming to the net. Puts it on and onto the stick. Bob Golden makes the stop. Stars ready to control again. Shot away. And Ruska's shot gets blocked. And deflects up and out of play. Well, the Stars, John, showing control of the puck. They're forechecking very well. They're moving the puck in the attack zone very well, putting Jefferson on their heels. But so far, that young lady's been really good in net. So she's making a difference right now for the Jaguars. Game on the South Rink right now, and also a quarterfinal round game here in the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. Bemidji leads defending tournament champion Fergus Falls 4-1 to one early in the second period. Whoa. Fergus Falls went all the way to the state class A tournament last year. About six weeks, seven weeks after winning this tournament a year ago. Otters had a good season. They've, they've shown well, they've obviously shown themselves to be good, but that might be a little bit of a shock to the system for them. Face off win for the Stars. They've been held off the scoreboard since the first 40 seconds of the game. Play still down in the Jaguar zone taken by Matty Smuck. And then gets past the stick there of Olair at the blue line all the way back down to the Stars end. Rainerson trying to play it out of the zone and can. Chance for Jefferson skating through some traffic, but going down there was Kuhn. Backhand shot from in front. Olsen the save makes another stop. Way back behind the net. From the side of the goal, they're getting shots from all angles, and Olsen able to stand up and make all the saves. Can't clear the zone. Can the Stars? Jefferson keeping it in. Kuhn couldn't get a shot away as she had her stick tied up. Comes to the side of the net. Dangerous. Boy, that was close to going in from yes, a tough was. angle. And Olsen able to smother it at the pipe and hang on. I don't mean to be too critical, but Olsen's been getting a little late getting that pad down in the last couple of shots there. And she just got it there, but I'm not going to take it away from her. She has been the story of the game so far. Made some good stops here in this second period although they give up uh, the one goal. Jefferson is outshot OPC in this court in this uh, period. Four and a half minutes to go in the second period. A played out of the zone. Here's a chance for Ruski and a lot of shot and a goal. A big goal for Osseo Park Center. They're within one at three to two. Well, one of those finally busted loose and flying the far wing out for a deep long pass and now uh, they've tried it three times the third one was the charm there as they put it away here 
Reese Ruska, a good move. Watch the pass here. Comes deflects right through and takes it up to the opposite up there in corner. Nice goal. Well, OPC right back in this thing now. Reese Ruska with her third goal of the season is just going to Lindquist at 12:37, and it's three to two. What a big one there for the Stars. Oh, yes. What a beautiful goal too. Mm -hmm. Ruska keeping the puck in the Jaguar zone here. Puck back behind the net. Ruska getting after it again. Jefferson though gains control. He slided to the blue line. Kept in by Lillian Huna and then back out of the zone by Jefferson. Losing as she came in inside the zone was Elmquist. Stars will flip it out to center. Down to the stick there of Krenz. Krenz will skate it in right side now. Lost it as she came across the blue line. Taken away by OPC. Here's Smuck. To the blue line, kept in by Jefferson. And flipped up into the bench area. That brings a whistle. Maurice Ruska with the goal. Put her team up by one. Or bring her team within one, I should say, a three to two. Mm -hmm. With that goal a couple of minutes ago. Two goals can be really, I mean, they say it's the toughest lead to hold, but, you know, if I look at it from being on the one goal side of it, it's tough to get back in, but this gets them closer. Now they're one shot away from tying it. And it's got to give them a boost mentally anyway. Looking for that equalizer before we get to the second intermission. Edlin. Centering pass comes out to the right point. Allaire there playing it back to the corner. Pass gets deflected. Keeping it in for OPC is Rainerson. Edlin. A lot of traffic there. Shot toward the front of that. And Jefferson clearing it out of the zone. Ooh. Here come the Jaguars. Taken away from Lesh. Cleared away. And we have an icing on Osseo Park Center. Good try, though. I like the fact, John, that they're flying that opposite side wing, the weak side wing out to force the pressure, get that point out of there. It break out a lot more evenly and uh, come in a little bit more two on one three on one uh, at the at the Jaguars. Down to two minutes to play in the second period. It's two one Jefferson after one each team's had a goal here in the second. Starts with control of the puck. Here's Lindquist. Lindquist trying to skate in alone. Goes to her backhand oh. and sliding over as Golden to make the save. Bella Lindquist did a good job to stay just a half stride ahead of Kara Krenz and got it in on net. But tracking it all the way, Chloe Golden able to slide across and make the save. Well, it was just nice plays all the way around. Her getting open to get the shot, but boy, Golden with a nice, nice save. Pulled her leg over, got a touch with it. And Stopped it, but a minute forty to play in the second. We'll hear from Jefferson coaches after this period. Let's go back to the rink side and Jay Wilcox. One twenty to go, still in the Jaguar zone. The Stars. Not able to set anything up yet. Now they get it out to Edlin. Blue line, high shot, easily gloved by Golden. Well, good to get a face off down there. Wasn't much point to the shot. It was easy to see. It was easy to pick up. But now they got a face off in there. They get a line change to see if they can get a better center in there and put some more firepower on the line for the, for the Stars.
face off one by Brendelin for Jefferson. Back behind her net for the Jaguars. They get it out of the zone. It's all the way through a race for Les. Couldn't get to it. Olsen got out there first and played it away. Smart play by Ali Olsen there. Don't take any chances. Get it out of the danger area if you can. Inside of 45 seconds to play, just skated down by the Jaguars in their own end. Lindquist playing it to the boards. Back out to the blue line, out of the high slot. Shot away there. And saved by Golden on the shot from Grace Armstrong. Well, Golden's holding it hanging in there for him. Boy, Ozzy was just their counterattacking really nice too, John. As soon as it comes out, they get control of the neutral zone to come right back in after you. Putting pressure on Golden and then the Jaguars. Clean face-off win for OPC. 20 seconds to go in the period. Brendelin couldn't tie it up behind her net. Osseo Park Center able to free it. Now giveaway and Jefferson. Has skated up through center. One last rush for the Jaguars. Pushing in deep was Haleo Lawrence. Take away by the Stars, and that will be the end of the second period. Well, a good second period there, John. A little bit up and down. Got some shooting going. Jaguars uh, put some good pressure on there in the period, and then Osio did earlier on. So this one's going to go right down to the end. Goals that period from Charlotte Belmont for Jefferson and Reese Ruska for Osseo Park Center. 3 2, Jefferson leads OPC after two. More hockey from the New Hope Ice Arena and the Armstrong Cooper Howley Classic on CCX after this. Welcome back to New Hope Arena on the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. We're in our second intermission of the first game of the night, and it's a good one. Jefferson leading Osseo Park Center 3-2. to two. Mark Johnson from Bloomington Jefferson joins us now. Coach, your thoughts on that first two periods for your team? First two, we, uh, you know, the intensity level was there. We're, we're battling. We uh, held them off in the first, which was really nice, and uh, I thought we... We uh, started off really strong in the second and, and picking up sticks. We're getting a few more pucks on net, and, that, and that's kids are working hard. I think when you get in a holiday tournament situation, you're never quite sure how the game's going to start because the routine has been thrown off. And, uh, do you think that maybe was a little bit of that opening part of the first? That is so true. And when it, it is a wonderful tournament, and we always get excited for this tournament. And uh, we just love the, the competitiveness and all the teams that are here and the camaraderie with the coaches and the kids. and. Um, but yeah, you're right. It's, it's just a, a lot going on and, and you get started and you kind of go out slow, but I think the girls responded very well. Overall this season, how do you like what you've seen from your team? I, I love what I think the girls are having a lot of fun. I think they're competing together. They're, uh, they interact a lot and we're having a lot of fun with the kids. As for this third period, anything in particular you want to see from your group to try and uh, secure the win, I guess? Well, uh, I think more pucks on the net. We're going to get a few more, uh, you know, a few more battles and and uh, we'll just keep plugging away like we have been. And I, I think it, it, it's a bounce here and there. And which way it goes, it's going to, hopefully it's our way. All right, Mark, thanks for joining us. And good luck in the third here. I thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, Mark Johnson, the Bloomington Jefferson head coach. The Jaguars leading Osseo Park Center 3-2 to two after 2. We'll continue with our live coverage here of the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic on CCX. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. 
Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Welcome back here to New Hope Arena. We're in our second intermission of the first game of the night. Osseo Park Center trailing Jefferson 3-2 to two after 2. And joining us a couple of alumni in the OPC program that were captains together, Tessa Strand and Alicia Smuck. And Tessa, what's it like to be back here, not as a player, but uh, as a fan watching your old team play? It's definitely different. It's definitely different. It kind of feels like they're kind of my family and they're my children. So sometimes it's hard. Like, I come mom, I'm like, oh, like, and I'm going to start yelling. I'm like, oh, gosh, like, I just need to sit down and watch but it's sometimes it's hard because you want to be there for them you want to you want to help out and it, you kind of just have to take a moment step back but it's still fun to watch so do you have some good memories from playing in this tournament was it something that you enjoyed yeah yeah we used to this is where I think we started playing our ritual where we used to warm up with a soccer ball we would like kick it around to each other and then we started doing that like slowly it started getting more and more of us it became a team thing which is cool and just being around tournaments together you kind of get closer but how do you think uh, the team's been playing here these first two periods? Uh, pleasantly well, pleasantly well. I think a lot of the newer girls are coming into terms, like they're filling the shoes that they needed to fill. And I think they're a very talented young group, so I'm very excited to watch them progress and grow. So. And last thing for you, tell us what you're doing now. Um, I am at Iowa State. Um, I'm going for biomedical engineering at the moment. It's a new program there, so I'm excited about it. So. Tessa, great to see you again. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Thanks and Alicia Smock, how about for you? What's it like to get back here and watch OPC hockey? I think it's definitely really fun, especially because I still have a sister on the team. And I think it's just like a family. Everyone, it's not like you never left. And everyone's super excited to see you. And it's just fun to support and cheer them on. When you're playing, you feel like you have some control. But is it hard in the stands to be like, oh, I want to help them, but I can't really from here? Yeah, sometimes it's hard, but they do a really good job just working hard. And there's nothing. It's just fun to cheer. How about for you, any special memories of this tournament that you can think of when you're playing? I think it's just always really fun, especially having both JV and varsity here. It's always fun to cheer them on. And I just remember one year, just like a big overtime goal for JV and everyone was going crazy. And it's just fun to cheer everyone on in the program. And how about for you, what are you doing now? Um, I'm at Miami University in Ohio and I'm majoring in biochemistry. And I do play on the club hockey team, so it's fun just to stay involved in the sport. Thanks so much for joining us and best of luck. And uh, it sounds like a couple of great uh, students here as well for both you and uh, Tessa. Thank you. All right, Alicia Smock, Tessa Strand, former Osseo Park Center captains and back here watching their old team playing here in the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. We'll be back with more here. It's three to two Jefferson over Osseo Park Center after two periods. Through two periods, quarterfinal one here on the North Rink tonight. Jefferson Jaguars leading the Osseo Park Center Stars by a score of three to two. It was a two to one Jefferson lead after one period as we look at highlights from the second period here at New Hope Ice Arena. And early, Dan, a contrast to the first period, it was all Jefferson. They were getting all sorts of chances and then the reflected goal coming there to put them up uh, three to one on the goal from uh, Charlotte Belmont. And then Reese Ruska able to answer later, and that was a big one for Osseo Park Center as she scored at 12.37. They had other opportunities too, and good job by Chloe Golden covering up and making a save there and keeping it a three to two lead for Jefferson. Shots on goal still favoring Osseo Park Center, but the scoring chances now in favor of Jefferson, eight to six. Each team with two penalties for four minutes. Jefferson able to get a power play goal. They also have a shorthanded goal on the power play that OPC had 
back in the first period. So special teams definitely have played a part in tonight's game so far. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can you can make or break a game with your special teams, and so far, well, it's showing right now. But, but we're still in this game. We got one shot away from a tie game here now. So I think Oscar Park Center is right where they want to be, and they just got to turn up a niche right now in the third period. Third period is on your way next here on CCX. More hockey from New Hope after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. John Jacobson along with Dan Ficken and Jay Wilcox at New Hope Ice Arena. Start of the third period, Wilmington Jefferson leading Osseo Park Center 3-2 on the north rink. Over on the south rink after two periods, Bemidji leads Fergus Falls 4-1. to one. That's also a quarterfinal round game. Semifinals tomorrow and the championship on Saturday, third place. Consolation as well, full junior varsity tournament as well. So it's a busy three days of hockey here on the two rinks of New Hope Ice Arena. This tournament started back in 1996. Armstrong Cooper was a combined team then. They were se uh, separate programs for many years. And now, of course, back to a combined program again. But they've been the host for this tournament since 1996. And we've been televising all the way along. Underway here in the third period. OPC looking for Tying goal here early in the third. They have the puck down on the Jefferson zone. Jaguars able to move it up. And on the left wing comes Lesh. Pulls it back to the middle. Lesh going in. Olsen of the save. He is dangerous anytime she gets in the offensive zone. Back comes OPC. Bring it into the Jefferson zone, but. Lost it there and cleared out of the zone by the Jaguars. Back onto Lesh's stick again. Lesh pulls it back, backhand shot, and Olsen another save. Puck slips behind her, and she's able to cover it up. Boy, Jana Lesh is something to watch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Great hands here. This is a second time. Look at that. Come like around a real nice go to the backhand. Couldn't get it through, but I'll tell you what. Ellie Olsen is really stepping up there. That's about the third time Lesh has been in there. Now we stay at three to two, a minute into the period. And have a penalty here as Edlin was tripped up as she tried to come out of the zone. And OPC will go on the power play. Their third power play opportunity of the night as Piper Hartman's going to go off here. Look at it again. There's a trip. She's got that stick behind her. She missed getting in the way. She was just trying to nudge up against the body. Got a little behind and she went over the stick. But boy, here's an opportunity for OPC right now. Jefferson able to get the early clear, though. Down to the OPC end. Stars trailing three to two. Move to get back. 500 on the season, centering pass out in front. Couldn't control it there. Back behind the net it goes. On the boards, Patton. Now he's fighting for control of the puck with Jones. Puck comes free. Ruska trying to get to it. Comes back. On to Patton. On to Patton stick. Now back to the corner. A minute to go in the power play to the side of the net. Jefferson player going down there. Jaguars, though, able to gain control. Long one in on net. And Olsen makes the save on. Well, they had the pass set up, and they just should have got a little bit more into a shooting arc, so she could have shot it right away. Here comes Edlin Perry. Ooh. 
Here's deep, but couldn't get it on to Ruska's stick as it was picked off by Brendelin. Cleared by the Jaguars again. Now down to 30 seconds left in the Stars' power play. 14.25 to go in the third of the 3-2 Jefferson lead. Two on two now. Armstrong comes in a shot. Golden got a piece of it. Not all of it, but enough to deflect it back behind her net. In tight, Lindquist with a shot. Golden may able to make the save on that. Good shot. Goldie was right in the right spot, though. Jefferson comes back. Here's the last. Slides a pass across. Caught up in the skate. Shot away. Olsen the save. Well, the Jefferson. only way they're going to beat Olsen, John, is they got to get to the spot before she does, and she's been right on it. Jefferson back at full strength now. Loose pocket center ice taken by Bella Lindquist. Shoots it into the Jefferson zone. Oh, no. That's icing. She was just a step on her side of center ice. Look at it again in that last chance. Pass to Becca Brendelin. Got it caught up a little bit in her own skates and didn't get a great shot away there. And by that time, they, Ellie Olsen had moved over and gotten in position to make the save. Half second makes all the difference in the world. OPC. With control of the puck, they'll skate it into the Jefferson zone with Edlund. Back onto the blue line. Puck just kept in there by O'Leary. Centering pass into the high slot, unable to walk through there was Smock. Now a oh. shot away that gets blocked. Still in some traffic. And then cleared back behind the net as it's kept in at the right point by O'Leary. Cleared out of the zone by Jefferson. Stars skate it down, then turn it oh. over in their own end. Pushing deep back behind the net goes Kampsner with it. Then she lost it, and OPC with the takeaway, and then back up they come two on two. Losing it as she came across the blue line was Rainerson. Skated down by Elmquist of Jefferson, who puts it out to center ice. Shot back ahead by the Stars into the Jaguar zone. After it goes Hartman. Hartman getting tied up there by Lindquist. Jones moves in for Jefferson. Freed up, it's OPC with it. Boy, OPC's really making the Jaguars work hard to get puck out of the zone. Comes to Armstrong oh. with a shot and fired a wider than that. Well, she was in a good scoring yeah, spot too and just missed the net. Armstrong picks up the loose puck in the corner, feeds it out, left point. Shot away from there and the save by Golden. Pushed by Armstrong toward the corner but picked off there by Jefferson. Out come the Jaguars, they'll skate it out to center. Big shot, it goes high by Thorman. Off the glass behind the net where the Stars have it. Buck comes ahead, Ruska trying to chase it down and does. Ruska moving in, a shot away. Golden got across. The pads across and Ruska unable to put it away. Kept in though by the Stars in the zone. Feeds it off, Ruska with a shot and a glove save by Golden. Now oh, the terrific setup there on the pass, Ruska's shot. Is saved by Golden. Well, I see was getting a surge here. They got their skating legs moving, and they're out skating the Jaguars right now and getting great opportunities like that one. Got in a little too tight to get her in the, underneath the net there, but and there's another good try. Shot here gets blocked. Down to 11 minutes to play in the third period. Pass banked ahead, comes in on net, and Olsen the save for Osseo Park Center. Get a good look at Jeremy Lewis there. He's pretty pleased, I think, with how close this thing is. We're under 11 minutes to play. Jefferson able to keep it in the OPC zone. Now 
they come now and in on the right side comes Edlund shot from right out in front that goes just wide off of smuck stick. This one skips past Brendan all the way down deep into the OPC end. Taken behind the net by Ostland out in front and Olsen had to scramble and make a stop there. And look who was in front too. Lesh was in front. Good save there. Stars trying to skate it out though instead pass it to the neutral zone. Brendelin will push it ahead into the OPC end where it's taken there by O'Leary. To the Jefferson end. The Stars make a change. And it comes to Lesh inside the blue line. He'll bank it off the end boards. Comes onto the stick there of Kapsner. She got tied up, lost the puck, and out come the Stars. Armstrong through center ice, shot away, Goldman there Sink gets go. up the rebound, and Lindquist scores, all tied at three. <laughs> great play there, just a great play. So, well, funny what happens when you get a puck on the net. Hits the pads, bounces out for a rebound. Hit the pads, there's no catch, no stopping, and bang, you just made sure you were the first one there as an OPC star and just put it in. Lindquist with her second tonight, sixth of the season. Armstrong with her second assist. And now we are tied up at three with just over nine minutes to play in the third period. Not like the regular season, we'll have to play because this is a tournament. This one can't end in a tie. We'll have to get a winner at some point out of this game. We'll see if Jefferson or uh, OPC Dan off that goal and push another one across here. And it comes onto the stick of Ruska. She has one tonight. Strong skater into the zone. Right to backhand to the pass toward the front. Broken up by Jefferson. Comes back out to center ice. Jefferson will sweep it in on the left side. Here they come. Centering pass out in front. Of Olsen able to make the stop as Kuhn came in deep with it. Shot from the blue line. It's the uh. fucking it's in. And Jefferson just like that right back out in front. A shot from Piper Hartman. It got deflected in front. Didn't know if it went off a Stars player there. And it might be Hartman that gets credit for the goal if it did go off an OPC player. And just like that, Jefferson answers, and they're back in front. Uh, it might have been deflected in front, but it looked like it went off the goalie weird on that one. They took a good look at it. Here's the shot. Oh, it went oh, off one of the defensemen. Number nine, Gabby Edlund. She's shaking her hand because it hit her hand and bounced in. Sometimes you got to have puck luck, and they got it. For Piper Hartman, her first goal of the season. Oh, no wonder they're so happy for her. And the senior able to put it in. We talked about how many young players there are on this team. A few more seniors than Jefferson. Hartman, one of them, gets her first of the year and gives her team a 4-3 lead here. And now we're under eight minutes to go in the third. Ruska is in offside. It was Lindquist on her left that was actually offside. The whistle blows. That's about the only, what, second offside, maybe third we've had all night. It's been a yeah, pretty clean game. Not a lot of whistles tonight. Not a lot of penalties. Good hockey here at New Hope. Jefferson quickly back the other way as Lesh able to put it on the stick of Lawrence. Osseo Park Center answers back. There they come. Edlund with it. Puts it through and slid past Golden and all the way to the boards. Out to center ice it came. Shooting it back ahead was Smuck to the blue line. Controlled by Jefferson as Flanders has it. Inner zone for the Jaguars. Poked off for a stick. Loose puck. Back behind the Jaguars net. Starts down just a goal here with just over seven minutes to go. Centers it out in front. 
Picked off by Jefferson. They slide it out to center. And Allaire and her team offside here. Yeah, one Ashley Parks everybody stuck it deep in the zone. She didn't see it before she crossed the line, but Stars are putting it on, John. They're getting some time inside the offensive zone. They just can't quite get a good shot off. Jefferson's playing some pretty good D in front of their goalie. Lindquist oh, bidding for the hat trick and a save on the low shot by Golden. Lindquist with that second goal briefly tied the game for the Stars before Hartman put Jefferson back out in front a minute later. There's Ruska. She's got a goal tonight. Lost it. Out of the stick, though, of Lindquist. Back to the blue line. Anderson there for OPC centering. And Jefferson able to clear it out. Chased down by Anderson. Banked ahead to center. And Jefferson will pick it off there. Elmquist will bring it in on the left side. Got a delayed penalty coming up on OPC. Now have Jefferson going on the power play. We're going to have an interference penalty whistled against. No, slashing against Armstrong. Grace Armstrong to the box. Uh, big penalty there. Grace. Anderson, or, I'm sorry, Grace Armstrong, second leading scorer on the Osceola Park Center team. Uh, they got to kill this penalty. It's really critical right now. Just over six minutes to play. Here's Emily Spencer. Slides a pass across the blue line. Taking the return pass there from Krenz and then playing it back behind the net. Jefferson content to Play it around the perimeter. Spencer again across to Krenz. The right circle. And then trying to play it back behind the net. It was Kuhn. Got broken up. Comes back on the Kuhn stick from the top of the circle. I got high here. Spencer moving in. Shot gets blocked. And a takeaway and a good cover up defensively there by Krenz. To avoid what could have been a breakaway shorthanded. Grasio Park Center and Macy Patton. A minute to go in the power play. With over five to go in the game. Shot gets deflected wide of the Stars net. OPC to the blue line. Spencer kept it in. Floats it back behind the Osseo Park Center net. Pushed ahead to the circle. Turning with it. Kuhn with the puck. The left boards. Jones back out to the blue line to Krenz. And Osseo Park Center gets a hold of it and flies it down the ice. Right in on net. Golden makes the stop. 25 seconds left in the power play for Jefferson. We're under five minutes to play in the third period. Jaguars holding to a 1 0 lead. Lesh gains control of the puck deep. Lesh comes in a shot, and Olsen makes the save. Well, we'll see a good opportunity here. The defense has stepped up for Osseo uh, Park Center to get out and blocking shots, and that's about the third one on that that rush that uh, they've they've blocked. And to get another good save here, holding the pipe, doing a nice job there, Ali Olson. Yeah, good job on Lash, who was trying to go high on the short side, and Olson able to hold it. Final seconds of the power play. Lash will let one fly. Hit her teammate with that. It's a little shaken up there. OPC back at full strength as Brendelin comes off in some pain. The teammate hit her with that shot. Jaguars got it back into the OPC zone, and now out come the Stars with four minutes to go in the third period. OPC down by one. Lindquist got tripped up as she tried to get a shot away. Buck comes to the blue line, and OPC will reset. Onto the stick there of Olaire. Ahead to the blue line to Ruska, giving up. Here's Lesh. Poked away off her stick and then offside is Jefferson as uh, Kapsner brought it in and Lesh was still in the zone. I think OPC's aware of her. 
By gosh, I mean, every time she gets there, somebody's there with a stick or something, nudging and keeping her off the puck. Mark Johnson's team trying to get to five and eight on the season. Up a goal, 3.41 to go. Jefferson. Trying to hold the zone here against Osseo Park Center, but can't do so. Outskates Patton, trying to come down the right side. Good break up on the puck. With the puck free, it is loose in the OPC zone. And kept in at the blue line by Kempster. Shot away, Olsen saves. Well, the Jaggers have shown good support for each other, John, here. They missed the puck. They got somebody right behind coming in and grabbing it for them and, you know, covering their backside. They've done that really well throughout, I don't know, about the past 10 minutes or so. Shots on the goal, 30, uh, shots on goal, 31-25 in favor of Osseo Park Center, but on the scoreboard, Jefferson leading OPC by a score of 4-3 to three with three minutes to go here in the third period. Now Osseo Park Center, possible two-on-one. Now getting back into the play and a good cover up there, shot. And, Unable to get it on goal. That was a nice defensive play by mm -hmm. Kylie Jones. Got back, tied up the Stars forward without making a penalty, without to get, drawing a penalty there. Now the Jaguars get the takeaway. Boy, a blind pass by OPC. Gave it right back to Jefferson when they had him on the ropes. They, they were tired. And allowed him to get the puck out and get a change here. 2.20 to go. They're going to wave off icing. It'll be skated down by... Flanders in her own end, plays it behind her net. Now up the wing to Lesh. Ahead of the OPC blue line. Pass pushed ahead to the Jefferson line. And then shot back into the OPC end. Allaire with it. Under two minutes to play. Charlotte Allaire, the eighth grader, brought it in and get a whistle. Oh, got a hook. Looks like Osseo Park Center is going on the uh, power play here. Is they're going to, ooh, they're going to take Lesh. Ooh, that's a big hurt for the Jaguars. And we're going to get a timeout taken by Osseo Park Center with a minute 52 to go. Lesh, there you see the penalty. Yeah, she uh, brought down a layer. And so at some point, maybe to start the power play even. They'll pull their goalie and have actually two extra skaters yeah, on yeah. here. They have the most dangerous penalty killer in the penalty box for the Jaguars. Lesh goes off here at 15.08 of the third. It's been a good hockey game here tonight, Dan. Entertaining on CCX. It's been back and forth. Each team has gathered their moments of momentum and, and made them pay. Now we're down to the minute, last minute 52. Who's going to step up here? Um, can OPC come up and tie this thing on the power play? They got a great opportunity. Or can Jefferson hold them? Can, you know, Chloe Golden hold them out for the Jaguars? Winner of this game takes on either Fergus Falls or Bemidji. Last we had heard over in the South Rink, Bemidji leading Fergus Falls 4 to 1 in the third period. Second game here on the North Rink that you'll see on CCX Armstrong Cooper against Princeton and the second game on the South Rink features two rivers against Park of Cottage Grove. And it is still 4-1 Bemidji in the third period against yeah. Fergus Falls. Well, if you're Mark Johnson, what are you, are you telling your girls? You get your top penalty killer in the, in the box. Uh, but it's a team game. Your goalie has played well here tonight. You know OPC is really going to come with the pressure here. Might have a chance to pop uh, the puck out of the zone and get a shot at an empty net. Although right now it looks like, or definitely, uh, for now they're the face keeping so Olsen in the, yeah. in the net. But they see how long that lasts. You see she's out a few strides, so may not be in there long. Well, the Jaguars got to get a tight box and keep the box. Play good position hockey on the penalty kill here. And don't get straying away from what you know you shouldn't be doing. Don't go chasing. 
Molson remains in goal for now. Power play underway. Shot away. Ooh. Oh, Golden. That one looked like it changed direction at the last second, and Golden makes the save. As we like to say, a knuckle puck. Boy, that had a weird twing to it. Yep. Winning the face off. That is so huge. There the goalie goes off as we see. So power play here for Osseo Park Center and the extra skater on as well. Here comes to the right corner. Shot away from Ruska. Golden got a piece of that. Trying to feed it back out, and they do to Victoria Welsh at the left point. Right corner, Ruska with it. We're down to a minute to go in the game. Stars needing a goal to tie. Back it comes to Ruska, comes in, shot. Gold in the save, rebound try, gets stopped. Jefferson gains control, flowing in toward the empty net, and they miss it. And we play on, 49 seconds to go. Stars get it up to center. Puck gets deflected briefly by Jefferson in a second time. Skated down and recontrolled by Patton. Played ahead at the blue line. And now brought in by Lindquist. 30 seconds to go. Lindquist in with it deep. Back behind the Jaguars net. Puts it out in front. Comes back out. Trying to get a shot away and a good block there by Belmont to keep the shot from getting through. Comes all the way around the near boards. Controlled by Jefferson. They'll shoot another one toward the empty net and missed out of 10 seconds to go. Puck is loose. Osseo Park Center is not going to be able to get another shot away. One second, and that will do it. And Bobington Jefferson hangs on and gets the 4-3 to three win. That was a nice penalty kill. They really didn't oh. give Osseo Park Center much to look at in that uh, final two minutes of play, Dan. Yeah, they may have gotten a shot or two, but then I... Uh, they just controlled it so well and kept it outside, kept it where it was out of danger and did a nice job for their goalie. It was nice to have your defense step up on a penalty kill like that and, and protect it a little bit. So uh, specialty teams made the difference tonight, and we just saw it here at the end. So Jefferson skates into the semifinals. They get a 4-3 to three win over Osseo Park Center here tonight. Jaguars improved to 5-8 and eight on the season. OPC drops into the consolation bracket there at 5-7-3. Reminder, a second game to follow tonight on CCX in approximately half an hour. Armstrong Cooper will take on Princeton. Stay tuned for that. For this game, we want to thank our crew and for Dan Ficken and Jay Wilcox. I'm John Jacobson. Final score again here from New Hope. Quarterfinal one on the north rink. It's Jefferson over OPC 4-3. to three.